Shaflin from Malaysia. Welcome to World Food Studio. Okay, today I'm going to share with you another dessert from Malaysia, which is called pudding chendol. What is chendol? I will show you in a moment. Here are the ingredients needed for this pudding. Okay, we have water, coconut milk, corn flour, another portion of coconut milk. This is fine sugar or granulated sugar, water. There are two portions of water. We have here palm sugar, pandan leaf, some salt. This is chendo, okay? It's a rice flour cooked, added with some um, tapioca flour, given a green color, and passed through a mold. And it's called chendo. And we have also two portions of powdered agar agar. For the first layer, add water into a pan, add sugar, and the agar agar powder. This is about a three quarters tablespoon. Okay, this is our corn flour and our coconut milk. And as, also, as always, when you use coconut milk, you have to put a bit of salt you know, to bring out the creaminess of the coconut milk. Now we come back to our uh, agar agar powder and water and sugar mixture here. So once the um, sugar has dissolved, you add in your corn flour mixture. So now we will set it aside to let it uh, get a bit uh, warm. Okay. Now we cook the um, palm sugar or brown sugar. I need water, pandan leaf, and our palm sugar or brown sugar. Perhaps if you can't find this, you can use muscovado sugar. So now this, this is the second portion and for the third portion we need to heat up our uh, coconut milk uh, water and also our agar agar powder and of course some salt to add to the creaminess of the coconut milk. And we will uh, strain our palm sugar liquid into our coconut milk. So remember the first portion just now we have uh, it has been uh, it is lukewarm now this is the time when we can uh, add in our chendol or this uh, stringy you know it looks like strings and it's made from um, rice flour and a bit of tapioca flour you can't add it when it's hot because uh, all this will uh, uh, sink below okay Then you get a round mold like this. Uh, run it under uh, tap water just to get some water around because this will help to ease out the pudding when it's ready. 
don't pour into a dry mold, okay? That's very important. So this is the first layer and we have to allow it to set before we add the second layer. So this is the first layer of our chendo pudding. Now we will add the second layer, making sure that it's kept warm all the time. So we have done the second layer for this uh, chendo pudding. Now we have to let it cool first before we chill it for about two hours. Then you can serve it. <laughs>